As 2022 comes to an end, we're looking at the top headlines from cities across the area. This morning, we're in the city of Bessemer. Over the past year, the Marvel City has seen a lot of growth. Joining me now is Bessemer Mayor Kenneth Gully. How are you doing? Well, well, how are you doing? I'm good doing morning. pretty good. Good morning. Well, Mayor, let's start with some of the new businesses you've welcomed into Bessemer this year. Well, you know, not only uh, this year, uh, we've had uh, a, a somewhat of a decade in the, of, uh, of businesses coming in, into the city of Bessemer. Uh, when we look at uh, the creation of uh, approximately 10,000 jobs over the uh, over the last 10 to 12 years, not a whole lot in several cities uh, can boast that many uh, jobs, that many job creations, and that many recruitment. And so not only uh, of companies, but of um, major companies uh, to the city of Bessemer. And we're looking at, uh, you know, the Dollar Jones, of course, the Amazons, the Lowe's distribution, the expansion of some companies like Milo's and Blocks, so forth and so on. We've been tremendously blessed with what we've been able and stuff to secure here in the city of Bessemer. So uh, we're just looking forward uh, to the future of Bessemer and looking forward to going forward to continuing that growth that we have been experiencing here in the city of Bessemer. And Mayor, you've been in office since 2010. In your opinion, what's the biggest accomplishment that you've uh, had as mayor? Well, you know that obviously uh, uh, there's been a lot of them. And, you know, I thank God and stuff for that. You know, I just mentioned the job creation. Obviously, uh, we've been able uh, uh, to do and sell some uh, 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 some construction. We build a new city hall facility as well. That's a new youth and senior recreation facility that I'm very proud of. But the um, the, the, the most um, a substantial thing that I'm proud of is the way we've been able to the way we have been able to invest in our citizens and our employees. You know, our general fund budget has doubled uh, since uh, 2010 uh, when I was elected. Uh, we've gone so from $35 million budget uh, to approximately $68 uh, million, uh, almost doubling at this time. So we've been able to uh, not only uh, uh, invest in the citizens of this city, but we've been able to invest uh, in our uh, uh, in our employees, uh, particularly uh, our uh, first responders. We've been able to put uh, tremendous uh, uh, funds in our police department as well uh, as uh, our fire department, knowing that public safety and the health of our citizens is paramount uh, in, any city, in any city. That's the most important thing is taking care of the citizens of this city. Right. So with that being said, the new year is just around the corner. Are there any big projects you can talk about for 2023? Well, you know, um, we're going to uh, obviously continue uh, to do uh, what's been done. Uh, we, we're going to continue uh, uh, obviously trying to take care of uh, the health and safety uh, of our, uh, our citizens. We're looking at um, exploring couple of major uh, projects. Uh, one, our uh, municipal court in Southern Jail is in great need of being uh, uh, upgraded. We're going and stuff to look at that. We, you know, we're also uh, going and stuff to look at uh, uh, certain public safety uh, uh, situations in and around the city. We're going to look at the installation of cameras in high crime area. We're going to look at a mobile command center. Uh, and, uh, you know, and also in our fire department, we've been tremendously blessed to be able to bring them online uh, with an ISO rating and so forth. One, we've been able to invest, invest tremendously uh, uh, over the years in, uh, uh, in our fire department, uh, purchasing five pumper trucks, a ladder truck. And, and we are aware uh, of the, uh, the ambulance service in and around uh, Jefferson County and stuff, as you know. So uh, we, we actually... Uh, went in and purchased uh, uh, two uh, emergency units and so to make sure that the citizens of this city uh, have what is necessary and so to uh, preserve and so their safety. Well, Bessemer Mayor Kenneth Gully, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And you have a happy holidays. Well, every